is the place They say People come from far, far, far away To find their dreams Chasing down these medias and comments Called dreams in the sky of life Yo, 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 what's Gucci, everybody? It's your boy, SJK, out the first black Super Saiyan who ever on this planet, and I'm back here with another video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and react to this episode now before I find out other things on Twitter, because I want to, you know, see, you know, who first things first on my reaction. So, uh, we know who's gonna be in this episode, Ahsoka Tano. We're gonna be seeing some people with lightsabers, you know, Jedis and shit, hopefully, you know. Hopefully. Alright. Uh, so, we about to get into this reaction. We about to see Ahsoka, hopefully. Well, we should be seeing her. Because I said in episode 4, if I didn't see her here, then I better see her here. Because Mando found her planet. Uh, this shouldn't take no f 4, 5 episodes just to find her planet. Go to her planet. Show me Ahsoka. Let's push this story about Baby Yoda finding his people or... Going home, going home with the Jedi, or Ahsoka having him take him back to his own species, or Mando finally deciding to keep the kid to himself. I don't know, but all I know is this: uh, I've been I've been fiending for my Jedi content, my Force user content. Yeah, baby, baby Yoda uses the Force every once in a while, but I mean from experienced people, and that's Ahsoka. I need my content when it comes to these jedis and sifts and all that shit you know i need that stuff i fiend for it that's what i want to see because i notice they barely give us that they barely give us that they want to give us more of the pew 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 guns and shit you know ships and stuff no oh, okay cool now we're getting into the you know about getting to the force the jedi the sifts all that shit Hopefully this episode we're gonna get a lot of uh backstory and stuff. You know, backstory, you know, just stuff about Jedi's and Sis, man. Just talk about it. We just gonna I hope they just talk about it this episode. <laughs> I hope they just blow freaking Mando's mind and Mando's like <gasps> Jedi's and Sis? Oh, what are those? I hope they just blow Mando's mind with a history lesson. But look, we're about to go ahead and get into this get into this video, get into this reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let's react to this episode, man. Let's go. Finally, nigga, yeah. They came out the gate sing swinging. Hmm. Nigga, please. Nigga! Alright, do something big. So, come on, you got force powers. Lift all them niggas up. Go. <laughs> Fuck! Show yourself. That's it. Hmm. Jedi. <laughs> what that voice sound like? I've been expecting. I kind of expect her to move a lot, you know. Faster. Surrender. You have one day to decide. One day to decide. Nah, pull up in there now and you fuck them up. Show us how he gets back in the sea. I want to see that shit. That, that shit cute. Ah! <laughs> Let's see what oh my gosh. Oh. 
Oh my god, this shit cute. He, so he knows how to get back in his own seat. That look good, nigga. That look good. Look at that planet. Beautiful. Look like a movie and Bro, watch out for them big ass motherfuckers walk by your shit. What do they say about that? This needs to stay in the ship. Alright, close that door. Are we not gonna close it? Oh, I see what they gonna do. They gonna hire him to try and go get Ahsoka. Been tracking for a few days. Looking for a lake. Open the gate. I think they're gonna send him after to go hunt Ahsoka. I don't know. Maybe. I have an idea of what they might do with Mando's character. And then he finds out it's Ahsoka. Or he may use the information, be all like, Alright, you tell me there's a Jedi here, I'm gonna go look for her. But not kill her, you know? He carrying this nigga like a fucking chihuahua. <laughs> He just got him up in that bag like a chihuahua, my nigga. A purse dog. Pardon me, vendor. Have you heard of anyone? Yeah, I think they're gonna send him out to hunt uh Ahsoka. Look away, bitch. He said, look away, nigga. Yeah. Come forward. Come forward. You are a Mandalorian? You are a Mandalorian. Yes. I have a proposition that may interest you. I fucking knew it. My price is high. I want you to hunt a Jedi. This target is <laughs> I told you niggas. A Jedi plagues me. I told you guys. I want you to kill her. Told y'all. That's a difficult task. One that you are well suited for. Predictable. Predictable show off tops. Beskar. Pure Beskar. Pure Beskar. Kill the Jedi. Wait, just a spear? Where do I find this Jedi? <laughs> you looking like, nigga, what the fuck is that? What is that thing? I keep it around for luck. It's my baby, nigga. What you mean? You're gonna need it where you're headed. I have a feeling like this planet got some Dago Bob vibes or some shit. All that fog and nasty mist and shit. So Ahsoka obviously stays somewhere that these niggas is scared to go. Probably a forbidden type of temple or cave or some shit that Jedi's and Sith know how to navigate. I don't know, but we'll see. <clears throat> these are the coordinates. Keep your eyes open. We must be close. We know he's not going to try and kill Ahsoka because he's looking for the Jedi, guys. We know. But I knew they was going to use him as a, you know, tool to hunt Ahsoka. And him and Ahsoka are both going to team up later. Save the day. You hear that? Mm, that choreography. We need to talk. Um, I don't know. What's she saying? What's the name of the species, finally? Okay, that was pretty quick and tight. She didn't let that fucking rope stop her. Alright, cool. Tight. She did some shit I would do. Fucking force jump. <laughs> fucking force jump over a tree and pull that nigga up with, uh, with her, too. Maybe I'll look like bitch in my mom. It was good. What's up? Is she trying to talk to it with the force? <laughs> what? She's trying to talk to it with the force or something. Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. Oh, his name's Grogu. Grogu? Yes. Grogu. Go. <laughs> Go. He was raised in the temple on Coruscant. Many masters trained him over the years. At the end of the Clone Wars, when the Empire rose to power, he was hidden. Huh? Someone took him from the temple. Wait, many masters trained him. Then his memory becomes dark. Oh my god. Oh, hell not. Don't. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Don't, 
do that. You don't do that bullshit. Don't do that bullshit. That's that shit from fucking Jedi Fallen Order with that main character fucking that bitch, that skinny bitch. Um, Kate, whatever that skinny nigga from Jedi Fallen Order is. Trash ass game. Nigga forgot how to force jump and shit. Cause he a bitch. Um, uh, f- uh, fuck. How he, how he loses his memory. Then his memory becomes dark. How? He seemed lost. I've only known one other being like this. A wise Jedi master named Yoda. All right, so he was there during Coruscant the in the fall of the Jedi. You mean his powers? The Force is what gives him his powers. It is an energy field created by all living things. Talk about the midichlorians. To wield it takes a great deal of training and discipline. And a high midichlorian count. I've seen him do things I can't explain. My task was to bring him to a Jedi. The Jedi Order fell a long time ago. So did the Empire, yet it still hunts him. I don't know how this nigga lost his memory and shit just faded to black. Oh, chat, I don't want no bullshit explanation of what y'all think it is. I want to know how he lost his memory, because... You know, that they doing that dumbass shit from Jedi Fallen Order where that nigga forgot he had a force jump and his old abilities and shit and block that shit out. No. Don't do no dumb shit like that. If he legitimately lost his memory, like somehow he just, you know, someone took it from him or some shit, then cool, but no. Um, yeah, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. That's that Jedi Fallen Order dumb shit. All right, Grogu, let's do this, nigga. What you got? Told y'all the nigga was scamming people. That's a nigga a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a grown nigga. Oh, they playing cat, nigga. He doesn't understand. That nigga don't speak no uh. That nigga don't speak no English. Oh, he's sad because he's going to be tor torn from uh, Mando. He's hidden his abilities to survive over the years. I'm sorry, what? Shut your bitch ass. Someone come in and shoot your... Try something else. Come over here. He oh, God. That's Je oh, my gosh. Jedi Fallen Order. He's stubborn. Not him. You. I want to see if he'll listen to you. He's hitting him. That would be a first. I like firsts. Good or bad, they're always memorable. Now hold the stone on the palm of your hand. And tell him to lift it up. All right, kid. Lift the stone. Grogu. Grogu. Go. Go. Bruh, that name. If every time you hear Grogu, try to connect with him. Well, go ahead. You cannot train him. What? Why not? You've seen what he can do. His attachment to you makes him vulnerable to his fears. His anger. All the more reason. <laughs> Anakin. <laughs> Oh, oh, Anakin. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to say, uh, we don't need another Darth uh, Yoda. We don't need another Darth Vader walking around this bitch. A Darth Yoda, my nigga. Darth baby Yoda, nigga. Let's go. Train him. <laughs> Train him. The magistrate sent me to kill you. I didn't agree to anything. And I'll help you with your problem. If you see to it that Grogu is properly trained. 
Mm, she don't look that bad as Ahsoka, I ain't gonna lie. She kinda look, you know. She has a small army of guards on. Yeah, hey, you know so what? You I'm gonna take some shots real quick. Hey, y'all know that DC t DC show Titans? Hey, shouts to the Mandalorian. At least, at least they're willing to put in the effort to make their character look orange. Shouts out to the Mandalorian. Hey, look, sometimes their story is predictable, but at least with their budget, they flex that budget. They fucking flex that budget. Unlike some other places that won't do that shit, DC Titans can't make your character orange and shit. Dumbass show. Shouts out to shouts out to this shit here. Damn, she looked good as Ahsoka. She looked good. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> I saw three villagers strung up just outside the inner gate. Oh, watch Ahsoka take all the shine. <laughs> Ahsoka been do some tight shit. We're like, oh, what you doing, Mando? Nothing for sure. Oh shit, some children of the corn, Jeepers Creepers type shit. So good, Neo jump tight. Here we go, now we moving. Stab them niggas, what's up? Showdown. Your bounty hunter failed. Mando's dead? Tell me. I'm thankful. Tell me what I want to know. Oh. Guys, Mando's dead. Fuck. Kill her. Love to. Execute them. Execute. Order 66. Stop. Back in your house, you think wasn't gonna do shit. You weak nigga. Take your ass back in the house. <laughs> Take your ass back in the house. You know what you gonna do? And now like he was gonna do something. I'm about to do something. Ugh. Sit your ass back. Nigga did a little flip. Uh, I wouldn't stand right there and put your back. Okay. Are you doing with the Jedi? Looks that way. Where's Baby Yoda? I mean, Grogu. <laughs> what is this bitch with this spear going to do? So good, kill her ass. Just, what the? What y'all trying to do? Some type of showdown? Kill this bitch. Kill her. Get it over with. Oh shit, fuck. <clears throat> Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is. Uh... Okay, uh, let's enter. Let's entertain this fight. Some let's entertain this fight. You know they're trying to go for a serious showdown s moment. You know that's what they're trying to do. So let's uh, let's entertain this. Uh, let's uh, pre let's pretend to entertain this. Let's go. Let's go. Force push. Psh. <laughs> Ahsoka. You uh, and I were a lot alike. Boom! <laughs> Who shouldn't even be on Ahsoka's level like that? A Jedi. The fuck? Mando shot first. <laughs> 
Yeah, Star Wars fans, Mando shot first. We don't need to do this debate. Behind you. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Oh, this my oh that blue nigga. No, I can't accept. Nigga, just take it. I didn't finish the job. No. Ahsoka's trying to hook you up. It belongs with the Mandalorian. Take your shit. You're like a father to him. Oh. I cannot train him. He will not be trained. Her. <laughs> Made me a promise. Mace Windu. And I held up my end. You will not be trained. There is one possibility. Go to the planet Tython. There you will find the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. If you... May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. Alright, Dave Filoni direct this episode. Dave Filoni? Nigga, what was that final fight? Are you serious? Did you just do that to Ahsoka, my nigga? You let this basic-ass bitch with a spear uh, fucking knock a lightsaber out of her hand and somehow get the best of her in the heat of battle? A fucking Jedi, nigga? Use the force and shit. Push that beach. Force grab. Grab. The force grab. Pull her to her. Stab her and shit. Come on, nigga. Look, all right. Well, look, I'll say this. Ahsoka, as far as character, she was cool, respectful. I liked her. She wasn't too saying nothing too hasty, too crazy, you know. And I like that little callback to Anakin they did there. He will not be trained. I saw a Jedi Knight like this fall. A Jedi Knight fall like this, and he will not be trained. His emotions and shit. He's too attached. Yeah, if you detach him from uh, Mando, that could cause his downfall. Mace predicted it with Anakin. Hey, guess what? It fucking happened. This dude worked for Sidious. <laughs> so now we know this nigga's name is Grogu, and this nigga been alive since uh, the the fall of um. He's he's got training course on with the Jedi. He was there for the fall, and he somehow survived. You know that Jedi fallen order shit. Um, and he somehow. F for hit his own abilities and forgets how to do shit okay S yeah so yeah that happened he said he had multiple masters so if he had multiple masters i mean i don't know why he's but he's doing that shit the guy from jedi fallen order day he's purposely blocking out shit that dumb shit and he needs to go to these temples to re uh to s see all this sh stuff again. Uh, Mando was cool this episode. I mean, he didn't do nothing epic tight. I mean, he shot that guy, but Ahsoka did way more cool shit because you know Jedi's and lightsabers. Like I say, you bring Jedi's and lightsabers, you're gonna get outshined. And Mando got outshined yet again. Shouts out to people with lightsabers, and they did a smart thing put in Ahsoka only in one episode because if you kept her in multiple episodes she was gonna she was gonna take over the show she, that's how much that's how powerful being a Jedi is like you can take over anything that you're in you can surpass a fucking bounty hunter um so they're going to this they're gonna go to this planet called Tython to go to a temple and hope for a Jedi to pick up the connection and uh go uh and come pull up tight we're gonna leave it up to fate man nigga okay okay but let's see how this goes let's see what they're gonna do uh that fight with ahsoka and that uh, the magistrate that shit was fucking dragging on for no reason that bitch had no business fading with ahsoka at all not ahsoka she was fighting a little slower than usual and i know people are gonna say it's because she's older. Don't give me that shit. Yoda's old as fucking. That nigga jumping around and shit. <laughs> Count Dooku was old as fucking. That nigga was... <laughs> Sidious is old as fuck too. And that nigga will go... Yeah! Doing that spin attack. Yeah. Though that old age don't mean shit. Obi-Wan, you a bitch. <laughs> Trash ass Obi-Wan. Fighting slow and shit. <laughs> Trash ass Obi Wan, uh, but yeah, this episode was cool. This episode was actually cool. Um, there was some parts that was like kind of iffy. You know, Ahsoka was kind of eh, on the slow side, like not slow, like mentally, but on the slow side physically. You know, 
I think they really could have. Uh, just like in uh, fucking Revenge of the Sith. Like, they really sped up Anakin and Obi-Wan and made them niggas look like they was moving fast as shit when they was fighting each other. They was going... <laughs> like, they was, you know, they was moving and shit. You know, and that choreography was like, mwah, foosh. But mind you, that was two Jedis fighting, so it's different. But she was just fighting random, uh, these robots and stuff, those droids. She was fighting random droids, so it was really fighting anybody that was comparable to her level. But... You guys, this episode was, it was cool. It was cool. Another cool episode. I wasn't as psyched as I wanted to be, you know? I wasn't as psyched as I wanted to be, but it was cool. I mean, you know, I was kind of hoping they would finally give us a definitive thing on what they're going to do with Grogu, Baby Yoda, what they're going to do with Baby Yoda, Grogu. But... I mean, by the end of this all, I don't see Grogu going with anybody else, you know? Because if, if they take Baby Yoda out the show, then Mando can stand on his own two feet and nobody can surpass him no more if they go for another season. But, you know, with this situation here, I don't know if the Jedi is going to grab him. Maybe Luke. Maybe because Luke is alive during this time and he should be building up his uh, new Jedi temple. But see, hmm. yeah, that's the only, that's the only why I see, because Luke is going to be building a Jedi temple, his own Jedi school, and he does that bitch-made move trying to kill his nephew in his sleep. Oh my gosh, what did Star Wars do to Luke? My goodness, Star Wars ruined Luke. Star Wars really ruined Luke's character, guys. Let me tell you, they really butchered his fucking character in episode 8 with that dumb shit. Killing his nephew in his sleep. That goes against his whole fucking character. Luke Skywalker telling me the guy who tried to see the good in his evil, rotten father and didn't try to kill him is like, no, I will not kill my father. Maybe Luke is going to, uh, maybe they're going to get, and in my opinion, if you're going to do this, you go get Sebastian Stan because Sebastian Stan looks like a young Luke Skywalker. You can have him uh, come in, you know, detect ahsoka i mean detect yoda and then he comes to get him and he meet and mando and luke meets and then you can help help tie the connections even further with the sequel trilogy that trash shit and this i mean i hope they don't tie i don't want those sequel trilogy ties anyways but they're clearly building up to it they're showing this imperial empire is going to be potentially be the fourth the first order and stuff they're working up to it <clears throat> But yeah, that's the only Jedi I see that's gonna come take him. It's if it'll be a surprise if it's I don't know fucking Mace Windu. It'll be a surprise. I still question that Ahsoka and Luke has not even met yet. Have they met yet? Like that's that shit bothers me. Like they have not met yet. Ahsoka has not met with the son of her her master's uh, met met with her master's son yet. That shit is so fucking weird. That shit's weird. But yeah, cool episode. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I hope we get to see Ahsoka again. But it feels like this is the last time. Just like how we when we saw those cameos of those uh, Bo Katan from Clone Wars and stuff, that looks like they're gonna be. That's gonna be their last episode. They're gonna pop up. Or they all may pop up all or they all might pop up at the last minute or somehow. But she's Ahsoka's looking for Admiral Thrawn. Bo Katan and them are looking for the Darksaber from Moff Gideon. So Bo Katan and Mando might cross paths again. But Ahsoka's looking for Admiral Thrawn Thrawn, that blue that blue Admiral from Rebels that I didn't care about. Cause that pew pew blaster shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit because my jedis and lightsabers give me that shit but look we're about to go ahead and end this video it's your boy k dot it's a cool episode you guys it was a cool episode i'm gonna go ahead and end this video it's your boy k dot first black super saying the word brown and with that peace love positive all that jazz don't do drugs deuces yeah.